Hi there, this is Aaron Sachs, National Training Manager for Samsung TechWin America. Today in this webinar, I'm going to go over the new Beyond Series 1280H analog camera in DVR system. So this is a new analog full lineup system solution uh, that includes the cameras, the 1000 TVL 1280H high resolution cameras. Uh, we'll go through the various features like the wide dynamic range, the SSNR, uh, lots of convenient features to set them up quickly and easily, uh, and then the DVRs to go along with it. Uh, this is the new analog product lineup that provides the best or the highest image resolution, outstanding backlight compensation, uh, and lots of other features uh, that will go beyond your expectations. So previous cameras were 700 TVL or 960H uh, NTSC standard 480,000 pixels. The new cameras uh, the Samsung 7th generation DSP delivers 1000 TVL or 1280H, which is 1280 by 480 resolution. And if you take a look at the pictures on the right, the resolution chart, you'll see that the fine details are easier to see, less blurring, because we have more resolution available, 1000 TVL in that image. Uh, and here you'll see side by side uh, on the left is the new 1280H CMOS chip from the SCB5003 compared to the previous Samsung 960H, which was a CCD chip. Uh, better resolution, better color reproduction. On the left you'll also see better low light performance, less noise in the image due to the SSNR, and enhanced WDR function for being able to see uh, backlit areas, bright areas, and dark areas at the same time. So 1000 TVL, you know, is it real? What is it? How does it work? Um, so these cameras use a 1.3 megapixel progressive scan image sensor, just like an IP camera, <clears throat> to capture high resolution video. Uh, the video is transmitted using standard coaxial cabling, often it's the same cabling that's in place, just upgrading to newer cameras, new DVRs. Um, and then you have to have a compatible 1000 TVL or 1280H DVR to be able to capture this high resolution image. And then mo monitoring it, you'll use a standard HDMI uh, connected monitor to the DVR. We'll go into more details of the DVR in a little bit. Uh, this shows the camera lineup, uh, the different models, the different features. There's a variety of, of models, uh, some with P iris, some without. Uh, one model with simple focus and then different models with different lenses available. Uh, and then also the video analytics, uh, they vary based on the model. And then there's also one Vandal model that is IP66 and IK10 rated, so it can go outdoors in tough environments. And you'll take a look from the previous cameras. Um, many of the features are enhanced. So we enhanced the 700 TVL to 1000. We enhanced the low light performance from 0.05 to 0.03. The WDR from 54 dB to 120 dB and added in the P iris lens in that one model. Um, and then they additionally, they still have the simple focus, the defog, coaxial communications and video analytics. The DVR lineup, there's three models available. A 4-channel, 8-channel, and 16-channel. Uh, you'll notice that the 4-channel also supports the 960H, so if you have a mix and match of cameras there. Uh, and you'll also see the different uh, recording speeds, the frame rates that they can handle. So one of the nice new features of the cameras, of the Beyond Series cameras, is the fourth generation of the SSNR, Samsung Super Noise Reduction. Uh, so it has twice the improvement of the previous model for noise reduction. So when you have low light black and white images at nighttime, less noise and less blurring. And that also translates to better compression because the DVR uh, H.264 compression can work better when there's less noise. The WDR is greatly enhanced, like I said, from 54 dB to 120 dB. The way the WDR works is it works on the, sh on the imager, adjusting the shutter speed really, really quickly so that you get 
um, areas, uh, parts of the image for the bright areas and the dark areas, high exposure, low exposure, and it combines them together into one image in real time. Uh, so it allows you to monitor real life situations as um, sunlight changes throughout the day, uh, again, bright areas and dark areas in one scene. We also have the defog feature, which can help for poor weather conditions, rain, snow, smog, fog, dust, any of those. Uh, the feature can be left on and it will work as it needs it. Uh, it also just helps with color reproduction and just making the image look a little bit nicer. Uh, so it's a nice feature that you can just leave on and let it go. The SCB5005 supports the P-Iris feature, which helps you with uh, enhancing the depth of field uh, and the focusing uh, when you have a typically a wide angle image with uh, some of the scene in the foreground, some of the background, and not needing to choose or sacrifice where that focus position should be. The SCB5005 also supports the simple focus feature, uh, which is an auto back focus that allows you to push a button on the back of the camera uh, or remotely through the coaxial communications in the setup menu the camera will uh, move the imager, find the best focus, and set it so that you don't have to spend a lot of time getting that imager focused. Great feature, especially for, again, the megapixel image sensor, getting that perfect focus position uh, can be a little tricky, and so the camera can do it for you. Uh, video analytics, there are a couple different analytics built into some of these cameras. There's the uh, fixed and moved, where uh, after a certain amount of time, this camera can detect if something has been left in the scene or removed from the scene. There's the virtual fence, where we can detect uh, something crossing into an area or crossing a line, and you can specify the direction as well. There's tampering, where we can detect if someone messes around with the camera, covers the lens, uh, moves the camera, things like that. And then finally, motion detection can be configured. This slide here will show you uh, which cameras support which analytics. You'll see they all support the tampering and the motion detection. And then certain cameras support the fence and the fixed and moved analytic. And again, the uh, DVR is part of the uh, solution for the 1280H cameras. So uh, the 8-channel and 16-channel DVR has a, a front panel that slides down uh, and allows you to replace those hard drives without opening up the case. They're in a nice tray that slides out. Uh, there's a tab that you push, drive slides out. You don't need any screws uh, to remove or lose uh, to uh, install hard drive or change hard drives. Easy for maintenance. Uh, remote monitoring is very easy. We have the SSM, Samsung Security Manager software, and the Smart Viewer software, which can connect to these DVRs. We also have the Web Viewer built into the DVRs. And finally, the iPolis mobile apps. Um, they allow you to view live um, events, playback. Uh, you can take snapshots. You can do a whole lot with these software packages. The built-in web browser is uh, cross-browser compatible, supporting Internet Explorer, Chrome and Safari on the Mac, and the mobile apps support Android and iOS. The GUI is easy to use, just like all of our other recorders. You don't need to learn a new uh, a GUI or interface for these recorders. Uh, it has a, a easy time search feature where it shows you a, a preview uh, thumbnail right there. Uh, easy backup where you can mark the video clip. Um, you can see in red there. There's a smart search where you can draw a box on the screen and say, show me when uh, motion happened between this time and that time in a specific area on the scene. Uh, so making the motion detection uh, and searching for an event much more intelligent. And finally, since these cameras are high resolution, we do have privacy masks that we can draw on each camera uh, to mask out any area that should not be viewed or recorded. These cameras uh, meet the needs for lots of different verticals out there. Uh, typically ones that need high resolution, uh, higher definition, and great low light 
performance. So you can see here some of the examples of the different verticals that have those requirements where these cameras will meet their needs.